mobile responsive Canva website tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make the website created from Canva mobile responsive. So the process is going to be very easy. You're going to head over to canva.com, sign in for an account. And from here, what we're going to do simply is to head over to the website. So we are going to click on the search bar at the top, type in website. And from here, we are going to click on OK. Now we are going to see the list of the websites that we have already. So we are going to choose one of the websites or if we do not have a website created or you don't have a website created. So you are going simply to select one of the templates and then you are going to put it in action. So in here, what I'm going to do is just select the website that I have. For example, this one, I'm going to click on edit and then it will open up the website. So here on the desktop version, I think that it is going to be perfect in my eyes, but let's test it out for the mobile version. So we are going to click on preview and then you're going to click on the mobile section. So we're going to see here everything about the website. We're going to scroll down until we see some imperfections. So here, as you can see, we have a little bit of spacing in here. So we have this one, this is the first spacing in here. So also we are going to scroll down. These lines are not going to be aligned well. So this is not optimized for mobile. So the chefs are going to be okay. This also is not good. And the names are not going to be very highly set up. So what are we going to do? Simply in here, we're going to make, for example, the uh, uh, editing, click on edit design. So here, you are going simply to change either the, um, let's say size of the picture of the chefs. For example, we are going to make it a little bit smaller and we're going to put it like this. For example, I'm going to put that also a little bit smaller. So like that. And also we're going to head over the groups and we're going to um, put them or group them together. For example, like that and like this. Example, I'm going to put this and that together. We are going to start grouping the elements together. That, this, and the name. So we are going to group it with the name. So also this one with that one, I'm going to group it. So let's see here if anything has been changed. So we are going to make the tomatoes a little bit smaller and adjust it in here, just like that and we're going to have this in here so for these lines we're going to make them a little bit smaller just like that and we're going to put them just like this so i'm going to have them just like that put in here and there so if we are not going to use them please do not and these are going to be resolving the problem so we are going to check here the problem if it is sold for the names of the chefs. So a little bit, it is going to be okay. Here we have one image bigger than others, but the names are going to be in place. So we're going to head over here. I'm going to place this. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like that, just like this. And this is going to be like that. So you can go ahead and put them just like this and you're going to see the page. And also I'm going to uh, put the screen or the page a little bit bigger. So we are going to get or gain more space. So we are going to track in here and see. So this is a little bit better. So here we have the vertical alignment of the shifts and they are going to be perfectly aligned. So for the more spacing in here that we have that we do not need actually, we can go ahead and um, set it up just like that or we'll try to reduce it by setting up it so we are going to see the result we have set up the uh, here the space for the arrows i have put them just in case that you are going to head over the home this is for the also for the mobile version or for the uh, also desktop version you can go ahead and put them or decide to not so for the images, if you're going to see some cropped or not well cropped images, you can go ahead and make them smaller. Also for the menus, you can go ahead and put the things or uh, the other 
let's say pages a little bit smaller like this one you're going to see that this is not going to be aligned properly at this side so here we are going to put it to the middle and we are going to make it a little bit smaller so we are going to preview that and see the difference so this is a little bit better but we can make it better by putting it in this case so we have to put it in the middle so just like that this is in the middle in here so you can put it a little bit smaller so it will align in the right corner so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one